Hi students, this is Nikhil. Now I will take uh, a question uh, given from uh, synchronous machines. Uh, this question is regarding the frequency drop. You might have known already this. And uh, basically speaking about the topic for this question, uh, it is a part I can say of synchronous machines topic. At the same time, uh, this question also forms part of power systems, so node frequency control topic. So you can tell either of this is the topic for this question. And uh, regarding the load frequency control, basically, you know, you, you encounter this kind of questions. So, what is the basically? I can say the gist of this question is that he says that there is some uh, you know synchronous generator, which is a 50 hertz synchronous generator. Important point to be noted. It delivers 100 megawatt. Okay, it is delivering, delivering what 100 megawatt. So, indirectly or directly, whatever you may whatever you may understand, I can tell that when the machine is delivering 100 megawatts. Its operating frequency is 50 Hz and uh, due to increase in load, the load on the generator increases, generation also increases by 10 megawatt. Of course, that should happen. If the load is increasing, even you have to increase the generation. And uh, due to this action of increase in load and uh, generation at all, the resulting frequency is how much? 49.75 Hz. Of course, if the load increases, the speed of the rotor will try to decrease and hence the frequency will decrease and uh, frequency has dropped something. Further increase in load, again further the load is increasing, resulted in the frequency of 49.25. That means 49.575 to 49.25 to 49.25. Now power supplied by the generator is. So if you look at this particular uh, you know concept, we can draw this load frequency curve, isn't it? What is this so-called load frequency curve? In this curve, basically we will take the a megawatt or I can say the load supplied by the generator. On y-axis, we will take the frequency of the generator. He says that when the synchronous generator is delivering some load of 100 megawatt, let us say that 100 megawatt is somewhere over here. How much is this? 100 megawatt. When it is delivering 100 megawatts, what is the frequency? Some 50 hertz. 50 hertz means let us say somewhere over here this is 50 hertz. So 100 megawatts, 50 hertz here. Alright. Now increase in load, the generation is increased by 10 megawatt. How much the load will increase? That much only the generation will increase automatically. So, generation increasing by 10 megawatt means load is increasing by 10 megawatt only. So, 100 megawatt and 10 megawatt, how much will it become? 110 megawatt, right. 110 megawatt. And what is the frequency then? 49.75 hertz. If this is 50, let us say 49.75 somewhere over here. So, at 110 megawatts, it is 49.75. Something like this. Okay. Further increase in load resulted a frequency of this much power supplied by the generator. So from 110 megawatts, power has been further increased. Okay, the power has been further increased. I don't know how much power has been increased. That is what you have to find out. Let us say that increased power is some P. At this point, what is the frequency? 49.25. 49.25 means let us say somewhere over here. And uh, this is the increased power and here is 49.25. Now if you draw the curve, join all these points, you will get a graph something like this. If you extend it back like this, this point corresponds to F0. F that means no load frequency, no load frequency. So basically here there is a problem with most of the students. What they will do is when in the question you find a 50 hertz synchronous generator, of course, 50 Hz is a very standard frequency in India. People start taking 50 Hz as normal frequency. And I have seen some students, I have interacted with some students uh, who have attempted this question by taking F0 as 50 Hz and then they, you know, then they get into trouble. And they start getting troubled and they end up in wrong values. I don't want to explain how that wrong procedure goes, but I have given you where people will go wrong. Initially, they will think to assume F0 is 50 Hz and then they will proceed whatever you will get is wrong. 
it clearly says that when 100 megawatts is there, 50 hertz is the frequency. That means 50 hertz is not the full load, no load frequency. It is some loaded frequency. Okay. All right. Always, if you look at this particular uh, concept, you have to keep this point in mind. For a generator, isolated or a single generator like this, this formula remains valid. That is, change in F by change in power remains constant. Always this value, speed regulation parameter will be a constant value. It will be a constant value. Understood? So, you see here, we will take one change, one increment. Let us say, initially, the power was 100 megawatt. Power was how much? 100 megawatt. From 100 megawatt to 110 megawatt, what is the change in power? Delta P, how much was the delta P? 10 megawatt was the delta P, isn't it? For the same, uh, for the same case, what was the change in frequency? When it was delivering 100 megawatt, 50 hertz, when delivering 110 megawatt, 49.75. What is the delta F guys? What is the delta F? Delta F 0.25 hertz. Isn't it? 0.25 hertz. So, we will see what is the delta F by delta P for this case. What is the change in frequency? 0.25 hertz. What is the change in power delivered? That is 10 megawatt. What this is going to become? This is going to become 1 by 40 hertz per megawatt. 1 by 40 hertz per megawatt. As I told you, always delta F by delta P is a constant value. Now, from 110, from 110 to new power, I don't know how much is it. Let us say that is delta P, which I have to find out. This is the delta P which is required to me. Now, from 110 megawatts to new power P, what is the change in frequency? This is the new required F for me. What is the change in frequency? From 0.75 to 0.25. That means 0.5 Hz is the new change in frequency. Understood? Now I will apply the same concept over here. What is the delta F now? From uh, 110 to P, 0.5 Hz. And uh, what is the change in power? I don't know how much change in power, power is there. Delta P. That is equal to how much is the delta F by delta P value that you got? Regulation parameter 1 by 40. From this, from this, what is delta P? Delta P would be equal to 40 into 0.5. That is go going to be 20 megawatt. That means from 110 megawatt, the power is going to increase by how much? 20 megawatt. From 110 it is increasing 20 megawatt means what is the final power P? 130 megawatt as simple as that. Okay. So the answer is 130 megawatt. That's it. Very simple. So once again request everybody who is watching this video to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon and stay tuned for more updates, more solutions and more electrical engineering related content and courses. Thank you for watching.